Hey everybody, I'm here with Desiree Williams, Miss Virginia USA, and she's gonna tell us all about the inside scoop of what it takes to be Miss USA, Miss Virginia USA. So tell me, what are you most looking forward to in going to compete on the USA stage, and what are you most nervous about? I'd say I'm most looking forward to meeting all of the other contestants. We sort of look at each other on social media, and some of them I've met in passing, but to be able to spend some quality time with what are probably the most outstanding women in the country, it's kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity, and I can't wait to meet them all and get to know them. Well, speaking of meeting all the contestants, the 52nd contestant is being selected right now via social media. How do you feel about that coming into the mix? I think it's an exciting twist. It's kind of the first of its kind to do something like this. And the Miss Universe organization is all about encouraging women to step outside of their comfort zone and encourage them to do something they've never done before. So hopefully one lucky girl who's maybe never had the courage to compete in a pageant or maybe just financially couldn't do it, uh, they now have the opportunity to come and uh, play along. And I think it should be fun. Now tell me, what does it take to prepare for the top five Q&A portion. Well, we've certainly all seen those horror stories and I think it's all just taking a deep breath and letting your thoughts gather and collect and then giving the most educated response you can. Nobody expects you to solve all of the world's issues thing and so I try to converse with my colleagues and with my parents, my family and friends to hopefully have a response for whatever they throw at me. How are you going to compete for this Miss USA? What makes you a Miss USA candidate? Well, for me, it's been about a lot of self-reflection. And so in reflecting over what I've done for the past 26 years of my life, um, I'm a doctor of physical therapy. I'm the youngest professor here at Hampton University. And so I think I've proven myself to be a hard worker. And so being able to take all those skills that I've learned and nurtured over the years and hopefully put them out on the national stage and then have the opportunity to share those gifts with the world is really what I'm looking forward to. And I think what makes me a great candidate